Hey, what's going on, Jam Fam? So you guys seem to have been enjoying these Brawl News episodes that I've been doing every week. So today we're going to yap about the Brawl News over on Twitter, and let's just jump right into it. First thing I want to talk about is going to be the new Supercell Make campaign. They're going to be doing a Make campaign for Bell. I'm excited for this. I really like Belle. I think she has some of the most interesting skins in the game, and I think people could do a lot of cool things with this, so I'm excited. A couple things to remember. If you are going to join this campaign, there is no theme, so you can do whatever you want. Be as creative as you possibly can, obviously, but keep in mind, you can't do a recolor of a current skin, and you cannot use AI to help you make your skin. I guess you could get an idea from AI, but you have to draw the art yourself. You can't use AI art to submit. Otherwise, you're going to be disqualified immediately. Also, keep in mind, the brawler should be recognizable. Don't make, like bell like look like otis or anything like that and obviously i think this is going to automatically disqualify egg bell which people are inevitably going to try to submit we're never going to get an egg skin give up on it so yeah since i really like bell and i think people can be mad creative with these skins i'm excited to see what she ends up getting i'll probably do a react to it when the skins actually start coming out so keep an eye out for that all right so the next thing that i want to talk about is actually going to be that yesterday there was actually a small maintenance break uh they did a bunch of bug fixes nothing like major couple vfx couple sound effects changes nothing like huge but I actually think they slipped in a Draco buff. Well, actually, we know that Draco got buffed. I think they did it in the maintenance break. And uh, Ash tweeted this out. Basically, all the buffs that ended up happening to Draco. First thing I want to talk about is going to be this bottom line. Uh, they gave him a nice quality of life change where he reloads half of his ammo when he jumps into his super. I think this is really good because you don't have to really worry about like your ammo consumption before you use your super. You'll at least spawn with some ammo and you're not wasting time in it. Again, I think this is just quality of life. It might end up making a huge difference, but I think it's just nice to have. But I think these two combinations right here are actually the big change. First off, he got a damage buff, which I think is fine. I think he did a little bit on the low side of damage, especially for like being a tank and whatever. Um, so this is nice to have, but I think the big actual big change here is going to be that he, it makes it easier for him to do damage at his max range. Uh, they basically, they widen that hitbox so that you have a little bit more playroom to actually do your, you know, your maximum amount of damage because Draco goes off doing damage based on how far you are from people. So between these two things, Draco is actually going to be a little strong because if we jump over here, you're going to see this is a marked boss right here being hit at max distance by Draco. It does 3,700 damage. That's insane. One shot after you're exposed by Draco is going to just chew up your health bar. So between two shots, he's going to be doing about 5,000 damage to you, which is actually a insane amount of damage. It's like Lily levels of damage right here. So Draco is now going to be a tank plus a good damage dealer. Plus he can push people back when he's in a super. I think this is a huge buff for Draco. I actually think he's going to be very relevant now. At first, I thought he was going to be a very middle of the road brawler, but now I feel like he's going to be much, much better. Let me know what you think about these Draco buffs down in the comments, though. All right, and the last bit of news that I actually want to talk about is now that the Godzilla event's over, Super Ranger Brock is now going to be in the shop for a little bit. So yesterday, they dropped the red one. Today, they're dropping the blue one, so on and so forth. So you'll be able to pick up one of these throughout the week if you didn't get them and you want them. They're 149 gems. Um, but make sure you are aware that they make it sound like they're not going to be in there forever. We're not 100% sure what's going on with these. The license might end up uh, ending, so they won't be able to sell it anymore or something like that. So they did say for now, so be aware that these skins may not be available forever. But the actual bit of news that I want to talk about, and this is a little bit of drama, I'm not going to lie, um, they're actually not giving a discount to people who owned the original skins of this. As you see, this guy tweeted out, that he's not getting a discount on the Blue Ranger skin. And uh, he, in fact, does own the Blue Ranger skin from the original version. And uh, one of the things that they agreed about when they were doing the re-release of the skins was giving people who own the OG skins a discount on them. And uh, I'm just going to quote Flying Line here. Uh, this is a problem because they re-released an objectively better version of the skin from four years ago that people totally paid for and destroyed the value of. They didn't update the old skin at all, and now they're not giving discounts to OG players, just like they said they would. So this ended up getting me to reply to Flying Lion about basically, this is why I was never really a fan of making exclusive skins. Even with the discount, they're still just double charging of people who have the OG skins. And it's a problem because like, you're just making the same skin and making people buy that skin twice. Or in some cases, they're updating the skin just like this, and then you still have to buy it. And even if you give it a discount, you're still double charging people, which is kind of crazy in my opinion. For the record, I'm still not a big fan of them remaking the old skins because I think re-releasing them would just simply would have been better. You wouldn't be double charging customers. For example, 
Uh, for Street Ninja Tara, they could have just re-released the skin, people would have bought it, they would have made their money, but they actually ended up making a better version of it, and, like, it's totally different, it doesn't feel exactly like the same skin, but you know what it's supposed to be, and if you wanted this skin, you were gonna have to pay the 150 gems. So, it's objectively just a worse deal for the people who bought the original skins, instead of just giving it out to everybody else. So, to me, that was the first problem, but then the second problem ends up coming up, where you have skins like Nia Nita, this is a great skin, it looks amazing, it's objectively great, I really like it, but then, no Dingle Derp, leave me alone, I'm making a video. Uh, but then, they re-released the recolor of it, and this objectively just looks worse. It's not good, I'm not gonna buy this, I don't think this is a good replacement for this skin, so the people who wanted this skin can't buy it, and they have to buy this significantly worse version of it. So I don't think this is a good solution, because you're either having this situation like this, or you're having the Tara situation, where this is objectively better, and you're double charging the OG customers. So yeah, I understand this guy feels a little bit ripped off, but I, in my personal opinion, they were ripping you off even with the discount. Like I said, you either double charge people who bought the original skin or you're ripping off the people who are trying to get a you know, similar version of the skin. So I don't think there's a good solution. I would have preferred them just to update the old skins you know, then the OG members actually get updated skins, and then people are actually on same quality level as the OG members. So, I don't know. That's just my take on it. Let me know what you think about all this down in the comments, but that's going to do it. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed the yapping on this news video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, and if you're new, consider dropping a sub as well. But that's going to do it today. want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.